Kevin, um, mission accomplished as far as the Easter programme is concerned. It's six points from six, uh, a 2-1 win today at Bromsgrove Sporting. Um, a real physical battle, but the team have come through um, and a, a dramatic late winner from Jared Hodgkins to seal that one. I imagine you're delighted. Uh -huh. Very much so. Um, obviously, I got the chance to watch uh, Bromsgrove at Colville on Saturday and kind of you know see the way that they look to go and play. And you know they are very direct. And I don't think Colville's surface is uh, you know allowed for a bit more of a passing game. But that was really tough out there today. And was from, from you know what we were able to play on on Friday at home on a, on a you know terrific surface that we have uh, to what we have to play on today and, and how different the game uh, ended up being and, and was and. Yeah, it's it's a it's as tough a test as we've had this season for different reasons than you'd normally face. Um, but I thought the way that the lads stuck to their game, um, you know, stayed organised and continued to work. It was very frustrating. There were no real passages of play out there today, and um, it's it's, diff it's difficult for lads when you're asking them to play in, in a you know in a different way because that's what the surface dictates and the opposition maybe dictates to to a certain degree as well. Um, I just thought the way you know, we've gone about our business, there's not a lot between the two teams. It's a, it's a dreadful spectacle, but you have, that's unfortunately perhaps where you have to be at this stage of the season. You have to be able to get through difficult, dry surfaces like we've got today and, and, and one where it's you know, not easy to pass and move the ball. Sure. Um, as you say, play was, it was very fragmented, wasn't it? I think I'd describe it. There's not a lot of flow to it other than Probably yeah. <laughs> your defence looking skywards and waiting for the ball to land on them again, yeah. but but they, they they coped with that. They saw that off after the first 20, 25 minutes or so and were just starting to come into the game, I think, when, ironically, yeah. Blissett scored the goal for yeah, Bromsgrove. Yeah, a little bit of a dubious goal, isn't it? Yeah. Fraser's adamant that it, was a, that it was a foul. I think probably got a bit of a case, but away from home, yeah, you don't get those decisions, do you? Um, but I thought the way that the lads stayed uh, you know, stuck to the task. So Brandon's come up with a save there for us, and you know we could have fallen two behind. A terrific save from Brandon when you when you really needed it. Um, and then I think we've arguably scored off the probably the best passing move and certainly the best moment of the um, of the first half. With, you know, Reese has linked up with, with Ellis Brown and put, uh, you know been able to put Remy in and the composure show to finish. You know that moment was brilliant and uh, you know great moment for him again and and, and all the lads. You know they. They work extremely hard and they've had to adapt their game today and um yeah it's nice when you, you know you come out on the right side of it sure um i mean I, we won't don't want to um i guess load remy with too much praise at the moment but he, you know he's he's really standing out in the team at the moment um i mean probably because he has the more experienced players around him to give him that platform to do that yeah i think you know it's, it, it's about combinations and relationships throughout the side and yeah, you know, um, Kyle kind of gives him that platform to, to, to end up in good areas and good places. Equally, Remy's got fantastic energy and, and ability to end up in those places. And when you get there, show that little bit of composure to, to go and finish the job is a, is a great skill. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's all about developing an understanding with your teammates, what you do well and not so well and, and, and likewise. So, um, yeah, you know, all those combinations can take a while to develop and understand. And, you always, as a manager, searching ones that work and ones that don't perhaps work so well and understanding that. So, uh, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's had some terrific moments over the weekend and it deserves, you know, all the plaudits he gets. But equally outside of that, you know, lots of players that, that give him that platform and, you know, he gives the platform to other players as well to, to go on and do well. And um, it's just lovely when you see, you know, a young man like that that's had the disappointment of coming out of a, you know, a championship club in, in, in Birmingham. Um, and that full-time situation and, and, and you know having to get a foothold back in the game and, you know i just love to see him kick on now and, and you know get to a better level he's certainly capable of it along with a few others there um and it, again the credit that they deserve for, for you know knuckling down in what is it you know they can find a really challenging situation um just love it when you see them thrive and, and enjoy their football and get a smile back on their face and yeah you know there's several of them lots of them there that have you know, been really good for us this season. Sure. Um, you speak about moments a lot. Um, I think it would be fair to describe the one that Jared Hodgkiss provided as a, a real moment. And that's the second time he's done that this season. He got the winner away at Berkhamstead and he's popped up again, an unlikely match winner today. But I don't know, just showing that, I guess that little bit of experience and that 
and that, and that de willingness to get in there and, and almost that drive and that willing to to risk and get in there yeah it's a great credit to him like, like when the goal you know we've worked a few passes out the side there i think ellis ended up putting the ball in and um, i was kind of shocked i was wondering why he wants to do front of me at that stage and he's made it up to the <laughs> into the penalty areas it's like terrific and it, you know the, the the awareness he's shown to steer at goalwood and finish like he has again another player probably you know at the other end of his career that deserves a terrific amount of credit the way that he's conducted himself probably would like more minutes um you know playing on the left hand side how he's you know got on with that job and just um couldn't speak highly enough of, of, of him and like i say you know the group as a whole you know they just adapt to situations and keep finding that bit of resilience and resolve to, to keep working hard for one another and you know it was a grind today. It was, it was no spectacle. It was a difficult game to play, and it's not not how we generally, you know, set up and look to play. But you know, we slowly get our head around it. We forced one or two moments, and uh, like I can say, yeah, delighted for delighted for him. He's, he's, he's been brilliant for us, at, you know, at, at the age he is, and still keep on about that because he looks after himself tremendously well, like like the rest. And uh, yeah, so it's just a really pleasing moment for everybody. We move on to Leamington at home on Saturday and with a 10 point gap over Redditch now uh, to sixth place uh, by my calculations either a victory for Telford or Redditch failing to win I think would put you safe and into the playoffs that we've been speaking about for so long. Yes yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice position to be in kind of in control almost of your you know your own destiny is, is a nice place to be and not relying on others. Um, we've had to work uh, really hard throughout the, you know the whole course of the season we've, we've been you know without doubt through difficult periods and you know there's, there's, i've made errors along the way that's what happens and always knew would be the case i wasn't going to get every uh, every decision and choice right about players and slowly we've evolved and we've you know taken a bit of shape and i don't think that that you know that doesn't stop now we're all the time learning and understanding about players and their and their capabilities and you know coming here today and having to dig in and be direct and you know, stick your head in and do all those nasty things was really, really important. I think Bromsgrove's probably done it better than us in the first half, a long period. But I play here every every other week and, and, and will understand it better than we do. And for us to adapt, you have to adapt and, and, and be versatile is, is a big thing. And um, yeah, you know, I'm delighted for the for the result that we've shown within the group to get the other side of it, take the three points. And as you say, obviously look forward to a you know, massive game against Leamington next week. Kevin? Congratulations on your victory today. Thanks for your time as ever, and we'll see you on Saturday. Thank you.